Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. We're now going to be finding the imposed action Q in the interior beam B1. So, the imposed action is just equal to the imposed action from the slab above. So, we don't have any imposed actions actually from the beam itself. So, like the permanent action, we had the self weight of the beam plus uh, the weight of the slab above. But for imposed action, we've said that the imposed action is only applied to the slab and that transfers through, through the structure everywhere. So imposed action from the slab above. Now, the distribution is the exact same as the permanent action case. So we saw we had this type of thing. Okay, so the amount of live load going from this slab is that amount, this trapezium. And from this slab, it's this triangle. So I've just taken it out there. We discussed these dimensions in the previous video. So 1.5 meters, 1.5 meters, 2 meters, and 2 meters. So it's a pretty similar process. We're just going to be using, sorry, we're first going to have to find W max. So this is where it becomes different. So W max is going to be different. So we know that it is the, um, the area load, the live, the live loading times by the perpendicular distance. So in the one of the one of the previous videos we found that the live load in slab was 3 kPa that was taken from a standard okay 3 kPa so we multiply so for the trapezium so for this one here we're going to go 3 kPa by the perpendicular distance 1.5 meters so 3 by 1.5 gives us 4.5 kilonewtons per meter w max for this triangle so let's just make that a bit clearer so this is for the trapezium this is for the triangle. We're going to be doing 3 kPa times by its perpendicular distance. So 3 by 2 meters is 6 kPa. Sorry.